I'm Ellis from San Fermin, and you're live in limbo. from Live in Limbo, and we're sitting here with Alice from San Fermin. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. You just got off playing Way Home. How was it? It's fun. Very fun. Good. Back in the forest, you yes, know. I know. It's nice. Yes. You guys just played in Toronto recently. Yeah, a couple yeah. months ago. Yeah, and you're touring your new album, Belong, right? Mm -hmm. And how's that going? It's been great. We did like uh, two months of headline festival, oh sorry, headline shows, and now yeah. we're in festival season, yep. so it's just yep. once a week. Fly Just out, go. play a festival, fly home. <laughs> fly home, go back out every weekend. Yep. So it is. Yeah. So as a whole, you guys are so different than any other band that's out there. Like I seriously, like even just standing in your crowd, people are like walking up and they're like, oh my God, they're so good. Because like, you just, you're it's awe. Like you got mm -hmm. the violin, you got the trumpet. It's, it's amazing. So you have a classical training background. Mm -hmm. How does that influence how you write your songs, how you play your live shows? How does it? Um, you know, I think, well, the big part is that I don't, sing yeah. and I write all the yeah. parts and the lyrics and everything so when I'm writing I don't I don't I, I try to give all the instruments kind of equal attention yeah mm -hmm. so you know there are trumpet parts and there are saxophone parts where they're kind of out in front and there's violin and mm -hmm. uh, I think that maybe that has to do something with how I was trained but also just being someone who's not a front man in yeah. a way like I'm kind of aware of the, the entire choreography of the show a little bit more. yeah you get a way different perspective because yeah. you're standing there watching it right and you're right. not like so many front men they write the lyrics for themselves to right. sing but you're like writing the music right and what I like about you guys is the instruments I find tell just as much of a story as the lyrics do mm. and I can tell what song's coming on by the intro or like what trumpet is playing <laughs> oh great good <laughs> which I love I love it because it's not like that in, in anywhere else you never see like this huge elaborate setup but sure so obviously your recorded album is so like it's elaborate how do you translate that into your live show how do you bring that it's very tough yeah. is it yeah yeah I mean in a way I've got I've gotten very good at it now I think just because I know these players so well and the mm -hmm. nice thing about having eight people in your band is that mm -hmm. there's always someone available to play a part that you want you know? <laughs> uh, yeah I think it'd be hard to write for three people yeah um, yeah in a way but it's funny at these you know festivals where uh, our band, I think, makes more sense when we're just playing to a, our fans, you know, mm -hmm. in a headline show yeah. because it's, you know, it does. It looks a lot different than a lot of these other. Oh bands. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but we've really learned to tailor these these shows. You know, you play the you play the hits. You yeah, know, it's, exactly. It's fun. So would you say obviously when you're doing a 45 minute set here, it's obviously way different than when you're doing a headlining set. So when you're going through it, are you like, how do you pick which songs you want to play? Are you like play the big ones that people will know, the ones that are upbeat, like? Yeah, you try to be, um, you try to pick, at least somewhat pick the songs that you know that are a little more mm -hmm. popular. Yeah, yeah. And then you also just try to pick songs that you think would be fun to listen to while it's like 90 yeah. degrees out in the sun. True. Yeah. Because it's like, it's kind of difficult to go to festivals for people, you know, like you, <laughs> yeah. you pay all this money, you yeah. come, it's like you're outside, there's noise pollution everywhere. Like you need to actually be able to play. Yeah. You need to hit, to hit them with something that they just get it. You know? Yeah, you really need to captivate because, mm -hmm. like, like you guys are lucky you played early on the first day, but like by the sa the Sunday, people are just dead, and they're just like, if you don't catch my attention the first five minutes, I'm not like, yeah. I'm not staying. I'm gonna go sit in the shade over there. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. You, you don't want to you don't want to underestimate the crowd. Like that. Yeah. People are smart. They care, but yeah, at the same exactly. time, you're in this situation where you gotta kind of yeah, <laughs> you it, move it along. It is. It's way. I mean, when you're doing a headline and people are buying tickets to see you yeah. at a festival, people may be just wandering up and be like, discover bands. Yeah. I know how many bands I've discovered at a festival and I'm like, wow, these people are amazing. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. So it's different. Yeah. But um, to talk a little bit about the album, you listen to the album and I find the songs tell a very elaborate story. Did you, do you find it has an overarching theme or is every single song its own little, little book? You know? I think that that's changed. I think the first record was really like this big story. Yeah. And the second one was a mix, and the third record, every song is just a little moment. Yeah. There's a little bit of a, there's a theme to the record, I think, just because mm -hmm. that was the space I was in when I yeah. was writing it. Yeah, yeah. But each song is meant to be taken more as an individual thing. Yeah. Because I just figured I would try something different. No, it's good. And when you were writing, you're just like, you know what, I'm just going to write. Would you do just like, I'm going to write for me. I'm just going to do it. You yeah, know? yeah. I tried to write a little bit more personally, at least yeah. lyrically. Like, yeah. Up, you know, and then... Uh, I also was trying to think like, you know, how do you put together a record of only, you know, 13 songs or yeah. something that 
it's just like a traditional, more of a traditional kind of rock yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, do you have any songs on the album that mean the most to you, that were the most important to you? It's ones that almost didn't make it, ones that you wish made it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, there's a few There's a few that didn't make it mm-hmm. that are that actually were fairly personal, but they yeah. didn't make it just because they didn't quite fit into the flow. Yeah. Uh, a song on the record that I really relate to a lot is... Um, uh, the last song, Happiness Will Ruin This Place, which is mm-hmm. like a the, sort of the more yeah. kind of quiet closer. Mm-hmm. And I just think it's about, it's a song about how it's hard to, you know, balance different things in your life. It's hard to balance, you know, like a wanting a, like a family versus wanting to be, you know, mm-hmm. do a, you know, it's just a, 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 a different, different pots on the same stove, you know, yes. you're trying to, and I just thought that that, that song really, you know, it's something, so something to yeah, me. it's something that everyone can relate to, whether you're in a band or you're in a career or you're in school, right? It's, right. it's something that we all can, Yeah. it's like, what do you, you know, you have to choose, pick and choose, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think, I think that's it. I think we're good. Cool. I just want to leave one last note and say that um, Belong was probably one of my favorite albums of the entire year so far. Great. Thank I you. put it on at work all the time. They're probably so sick of hearing it because it's literally all I ever play, but I just want to say you did a fantastic job and I think okay. it, it's great. I'm really just put it out I'm there. very happy to hear it. I yeah, appreciate it. No Thank problem. You. All right, we're all set. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now we can do the handshake. All right. <laughs>